In this video, we are going to create multi-domain certificate by taking those four steps. This time also, I don't really go detail for each individual command. But if you need those information, please watch this video linked here. Otherwise, let's create multi-domain certificate. This time also, I use my blog page. When you scroll down a bit, you can see the table of contents and the multi-domain certificate link. So click on that. Then you can get all the command to create multi-domain certificate here. Okay, so let's open up the terminal and then check the folder and the file structure first. All right, so you can see the server folder we created wildcard in the previous video. We are going to create multi-domain certificate in the same location here. So first step, we are going to create private key. So simply copy this command and then paste and hit enter. All right, so let's check from three command. All right, so you can see multi-domain certificate key file here. All right, for the next step, we will create certificate sign request. So copy this command and paste it here. Okay, so hit enter to apply the default value until the common name. So now we are in the common name. We are going to apply this text here. All right, and then hit enter. And I put the dummy email account. hit enter. All right. So let's check from three command. Okay, now we can see certificate sign request under the CSR folder here. For the next step, we are going to create a certificate file. But before we run this command, let's check the dismit CA conf file. So this time we specify this section to create a multi-domain certificate. As you can see, there's are some link here. It's alt names. So alt name is listed here. As a demonstration, I put the five DNS record here. So actually you can add multiple domain like this. So for example, I put the additional DNS record. For example, we can put the different domain like this. All right, so let's save and close this file. All right, so now we are ready to run the, this command. So copy this command and then paste it and hit enter. So type the passphrase for mid CA key. Okay, so Y and enter and Y and enter again. All right. So let's check from three command. Okay, so we successfully create multi-domain certificate under the third folder. All right, so next step, we are going to create PFX file. All right, so simply copy this command and then paste it here and hit enter. All right, so we are going to set export password for this PFX file. All right, so type the same password again. That's it. Let's check from three command again. All right, so we successfully create certificate file including the PFX file like here. This is additional step, but if you want to check the content of this certificate file, you can do that by this command. All right, hit enter. Okay, so you can see all the DNS record here. And the last one is the one I typed in in this demo. And also you can see all the information we typed in when we create the certificate sign request. This is here. All right, so that's it. So now we are able to create single domain certificate wildcard certificate, and multi-domain certificate. That's great.